Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the life-size fabric sculptures you see sitting behind me. I created these dolls myself and as I was sewing them, they would not stop talking to me. And this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. And so far I have book one, two and three the jungle beauty goddess book series series is a sensuous juicy provocative love story about human evolution it is for adults only the jungle beauty goddess book series led to my jungle beauty goddess oracle deck that i am going to use today to give you some insight into whether or not you fit into the social structure thank you so much for watching Hello darlings, to better align your mind, body, and soul with the butterfly color that most resonates with the message you need to hear, please take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by placing the tip of your tongue at the top of your mouth directly behind your teeth. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine, and release it to the count of nine. Do this three times. Wait a moment to allow your mind to settle into your spirit and your spirit to settle into your body. You will feel a shift in your energy when this happens. Use your intuition to select the butterfly color or colors that resonate with your beingness or listen to each message to tap into the collective mind Thank you so much for watching. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep this in mind when selecting a pick a card message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. The links for the butterfly colors are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. darling if you selected the blue leopard butterfly this reading is for you first I'm going to go over your cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition as to whether or not you fit into the social structure the first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Me and Jungle Beauty Goddess Me's message to you is is it for your highest good and the highest good for all? The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara's message to you is... If you think you know everything, you have nothing else to learn. The next card I have for you, in terms of whether or not you fit into the social structure, is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai's message to you is do it now. And the last card I have for you in terms of whether or not you fit into the social structure 
is from the matter who is um, dark matter and energy the most powerful creative energy of the universe and his message to you is stop pretending you are powerless so let me tell you what your hand is saying y'all you are a big fish in a little tiny pond you have the corner office responsibilities without the corner office pay and without the corner office you are extremely intelligent and you are the person that everyone comes to when they need information and you enjoy being the go-to person but it is really time for you to expand it is time you are fitting into the social structure you have filled the social structure you have outgrown your social structure it is time for you to take on a more leadership position the wind is behind your back. It is time for you to move, y'all. It is time for you to up that pay and get that raise. That is the collective energy that I am picking up from your hand. And it says, is it for your highest good and the highest good for all? Basically, when you move into a leadership position, you'll be able to help more people. But you'll also need to ask for help. And this is one of the uh, factors that is kind of pre preventing you from asking for that raise or looking for more responsibility or looking for a job to really take advantage of your full skill set. Basically, um, every time we move, in another way, we actually go down as well every time we go up we also go down so when you go up and you have more responsibilities and you have more pay you also now you're in new waters right before you were just like in a little fishbowl and it's like you can't fit and now you're in this super big ocean and you need help navigating you need to make you may need to go back to school to get um, a degree or take a, a seminar or take a class there may be more information you need to learn you may need to get a mentor you need people to help you but right now you're the big fish in the little pond you're the person that everybody come to the person that everybody you know um, need help from you're you're the go-to person you but you it says if you think you know everything you have nothing else to learn right so you know everything where you are and but your cars are telling you to move now do it now you you know that you know better you know that you can do your job in your sleep and everybody knows that you should probably be in some leadership position but the truth is you're holding yourself back and it's not helping you and it's not helping other people because it would be inspirational for other people to see you in the leadership role that you actually deserve and the cards are telling you child stop pretending you're powerless yes the cards are telling you to stop pretending you're powerless i think that is a really big thing so my intuition is telling me that it is really time for you to move up to take on more responsibility and to go after that race go after that dream the stars are li have lined up for you it's time you've outgrown the social structure that you're in and it's time for you to move there's just really nothing more to say but i do want to give you your reading from your star alien being so we have the plummet um I think it's the pumice I can't remember but it's Jasper okay I'm gonna give you the message from your star alien being and it says don't be afraid of being unliked this has been holding you back hmm. when you move up in the social structure you must accept the fact that you will have very few friends People aren't going to ask you for help because they may fear your power. Mm. They may be afraid of receiving a negative re evaluation or even being fired. People will fear you because of your power that the social structure would give you. As an authority figure, you will be called to use disciplinary actions against people 
who once adored you. That makes me so sad. Oh my God. Okay, I'm sorry. You are under no illusion that, that it is indeed lonely at the top. You will make new friends, but the relationships will be different, more structured and cold. You are ready to advance. Find a hobby. Give me a second. Net, find a hobby, a hobby or networking opportunities to, to socialize with people outside of your organization. Your demeanor will change the way you talk, act, and dress. But this is a part of growth. You are ready to move on and move upward. That was interesting. Wasn't that interesting? I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the beige and hot pink divine feminine butterfly, this reading is for you in terms of whether or not you fit into the social structure. First, I'm going to go over your cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition as to how and whether or not you fit into the social structure. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is love multiplies when you give it away. The next card I have for you in terms of whether or not you fit into the social structure is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you is health is wealth. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobi. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobi's message to you is do what is best for you. And the last card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara and Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara's message to you is ask more questions. Now the collective intuition that I'm picking up from your hand is that you fit into the social structure but you are no longer happy in the social structure. You are you no longer feel joy you are tired you this is not where you want to be and some of the legitimate concerns you have is if i leave will i have health insurance if i leave are things going to work out for me so the universe is saying that you really need to ask more questions in terms of okay how long will it take for me to do a b c and d so that i can move into something that's going to actually make me happy it says do what is best for you this means that and especially the card you have these two cards it says do what is best for you and then it says health is wealth this means yes the job pays well or yes this might seem like a good gig but the truth is it's really weighing you down you're no longer happy this is not where you want to be anymore you don't want to be in this social structure anymore but another thing that I was picking up is that um, there may be some resentment that you're having or you're, you're kind of af you're afraid to move. You're thinking like, well, you know what, I'll just wait, you know, because where else am I going to get, you know, these hours or this pay? But the stress is destroying your health. And a message that came to me really strong was that whoever is watching this, if you have any... Um, health concerns in terms of like if you let's say you're I'm not talking just about physical health but mental health anxiety if you are working in a profession right now where you feel so stressed out you feel so anxious health as well so the universe is saying you know it's really time for you to start thinking about moving outside of this social structure because you really need to do what is best for you in the long term okay so um but we have jungle beauty goddess sahara now she's not saying don't leave she's saying what we need you to do is ask more questions and this means 
ask more questions, even in terms of, can you move to another department? Do they have a sister company? Maybe, you know, somewhere um, not too far away. Maybe um, it, it doesn't, where you are, it's not a good fit anymore. Where you are, it doesn't make you happy. And once you become happy, you'll feel more love, more joy. You will have a better sense of overall well-being. And um, love multiplies when you give it away. So basically, once you find the career or the move or whatever it is that's going to make you happy, you're going to have more to give to other people. You'll, you know, even if you're not making as much money, but you're going to feel so much love and so much happiness and so much, you're going to be contented. Your soul is going to be filled with so much joy that you're going to be able to help more people. Because, you know, again, like when you love something, you know how you, there's to me, there's nothing more beautiful than when I'm around a person who absolutely love their job. Have you ever just, even if this person is working at McDonald's, have you ever gone before and the person says, welcome to McDonald's, may I take your order please? And you can just tell in their voice that maybe they just really love life, they love their job. I don't care. And I'm just like, sure. You know what I mean? Like, they, yeah, take my order. You know what I'm saying? A there's a love that we give away when we are really happy and the universe is saying to you you're fitting in the social structure yes you can have the skill set you have the language but it is no longer making you happy it is no longer a good fit and you need to find something that actually makes you happy so that you will have the love to give away you need to worry you need to worry about and concentrate on your mental and your physical health child because that is where your will real wealth lies so now I'm going to give you your message from your Chrysocola oh did you see that I almost fell this is really heavy my hand was just a little light your Chrysocola star alien being okay that was let me get a good grip here okay that was whoa so your message is let bygones be got bygones do not seek revenge or try to even a wrong that has been done to you. Holding on to past pain, betrayal, or betrayals is holding your consciousness to the past. This is preventing you from making, from moving forward in your life. The pain that you are holding on to will cause a serious health condition if you do not release the past immediately. You must find a spiritual resource to help you relieve your past hurt and disappointments. You can turn to your religious texts for ways to let go of the past. This is um, an early warning that could possibly save your life. You still have time, but you must act immediately on releasing past hurt. If you hold on to your sense of self-righteousness, it, it is not going to end in your favor. Wow, that was the message that I received from this particular hand. So some other things you can do there are like detox teas and working on your chakras and meditation. There are just a variety of things you can do. So basically, what I'm picking up from your hand, do you fit into the social structure? Yes, you're fitting, but the fit is no longer a good fit. It's time for you to look to move. Maybe you can look to move to another department. Maybe you can move to another company. But they're not saying just go do something like, oh, let me, I quit. Hey, let me, you know. No, they're saying do some, uh, ask questions. Ask questions like in terms of what do I need to do in terms of my benefits or my pay or, or whatever it is. But um, think about it. Think about it and actually come up with a plan so that you can um, navigate your move so that, that it will alleviate as much stress as possible. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the tiger, pink, and black butterfly, this reading is for you. So first, I am going to go over your cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about whether or not you fit into the social structure. 
The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you is... Your body is your most valuable asset on earth. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. And her message to you in terms of whether or not you fit into society is gather information with an open mind. The next message I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And her message to you is do what you love and become who you are meant to be. Yes, do what you love and become who you are meant to be. And the last card I have for you in terms of whether or not you fit into society, you have another card from Journey of Beauty Goddess Sahara, which represents your throat chakra. And her message to you is, think more and talk less. My collective intuition about your hand is, well, let me just, it's, it's kind of a long story. <laughs> Not that long. <laughs> we have time. Um, what came to me when I was reading your hand was that you need, that you should probably do a DNA ancestry type test if you haven't done one already so that you can look into your background to see like where you're from and look into the culture and the heritage of the people in your family lineage there are many people in your family lineage who actually have your gift and you're going to learn some things about yourself that you really need to learn um what came to me is that you come from a family of like shamans or maybe witches or um, all cult leaders, people who have aliens, um, goddesses. You um, you have a lot of ancient wisdom and a lot of ancient knowledge, but you are trying to fit into the social structure. You are ashamed of these gifts. You are ashamed of the fact that you're interested in these things because there are so many like there's things in the Bible that, that says that divination is wrong or that you shouldn't do this and you really don't know you know I don't know if you've read the Bible if you know whether you are Egyptian or not or if that Bible was talking to you if that Bible has anything to do with your heritage but the cars are telling me that you are you don't fit and you need to do some research and to find out who you really are. The other um, aspect is that you need to gather information, which, which, which is one of your cards. It says gather information with an open mind. So basically the cards are saying that you are listening to like other people, but you should really look at um, some books, some ancient books, wisdom books like about the Anuki, about the uh, ancient wisdom, um, the Mary Atlantis, like just it was just a whole bunch of um, knowledge that was just, I mean, books and sources that you need to look into that's going to remind you of who you are and why you're here on this planet. Uh, what came to me is that you are a healer, that you are a, you are a person who's here to help people um, to guide people along their path, to teach them about the different herbs, the different gemstones, or wisdom that's going to help their soul um, be able to maneuver in their body on this planet. So you are a very special being, but you you do not fit in the social structure. You are struggling with this, and this is causing you a lot of problems. It says your body is your most valuable asset on earth and the card was telling me that please look into your ancestry see if you've come from a, a different tribe or a different line of beings. Um, you may be a um, like I said the point is you're not like everybody else okay whether it's an alien or a goddess or um, you know shaman you you're very special you think more and talk less 
stop telling people your ideas, stop talking to people who who really don't understand you and they probably think that you're weird because of your you know because you're probably showing interest and people are and, and you're kind of afraid you're probably even a little bit ashamed that you're watching this video you don't want to be this person but you are very special it says do what you love and become who you are meant to be so once you do your research you look into your family background stop listening to other people in terms of like when you ask them things about you know um, maybe ancestors or spiritual work or you know um, astrology they're telling you don't do it it's wrong but somewhere in your heart you know it's who you are so once you are able to do your own research and find out who you are look at like I said look at Atlantis look at the Lemurians look at the Anuki look at ancient wisdom um, there there's a lot of knowledge that this hand the spirit my spirit guys are telling me to tell you you have a lot of research that you need to do for yourself about who you are where you're from and why you're really here on this planet so now I'm going to give you your message from your skull being this is the elephant Jasper so the message I have for you is let me get everybody in focus here what you are naturally interested in is a sign and a guide as to where you belong you would not be watching this video if you were not a part of the spiritual community of oracle readers divination and spiritual work when you accept who you are you will attract like-minded people who will reach out to you you would not fit into the social structure as a mainstream part of society because most people want to be told what to do by mainstream society they want to fit in. They want to be considered normal. So that is the message, I think. Oh, and there's just one more thing, one more message that was at the bottom. It says, don't feel intimidated by people you admire. You will find your own style and your own way of communicating. People are naturally attracted to people who love what they do. You are one of the people that you are attracted to. You are in the beginning of the research stage of your spiritual journey. So that is the message I have for you in terms of whether or not you fit, in, fit into society. The overall picture is you do not fit into the social structure. You need to do your own research. You need to stop listening to other people. You need to look into your background. There are other people in your family who are, who are actually a part of this spiritual journey, this type of work that will surprise you talk to your family members as well i really hope you found value in this video thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video hello darling if you selected the lavender gold and purple divine feminine butterfly this reading is for you so what I'm going to do is go over your cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about whether and where you fit into the social structure. The first card I have for you is from Demeter, the jungle beauty goddess's father. And his message to you in regards to where you fit into the social structure, whether you fit into the social structure, structure is anything is possible. The next card I have for you is from Dematter. You're pulling in some strong creative energy. We're pulling in, in another card from Dematter. And his message to you is you will learn from action, not inaction. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And her message to you is take a risk and the last card I have for you in terms of whether or not or you fit into the social structure darling it's again you again from Sinai oh my god this hand is so amazing because Sinai second chakra second chakra is the area responsible for your creativity and being productive you know not just in the biological sense but it also represents our area for creativity in general. 
So you have everything going for you in this hand. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai and her message to you in terms of where you fit into the social structure or whether you fit into the social structure. She said, your actions today will determine your forever. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I get so excited when hands are so clear. So the question is whether or not you fit into the social structure, where you fit into the social structure. The social structure is basically what our society perceives as being valuable um, and whatever is in alignment with whatever we value, that is um, the, the social structure. You know, what we say is okay, what we say is beautiful, what, what, what we, the comic, um, the shows we watch on TV. So the social structure, there's a social structure for, you know, for our jobs, you know, at, at the macro level and at the micro level. But it's pretty much what everybody has agreed on in terms of what the rules of engagement are going to be, so to speak. So your hand is saying, not only do you fit into the social structure, structure, there is absolutely nothing you cannot do. You, the only person holding you back is you. That is what your hand card is saying. You do fit into the social structure and you can have anything you want. You can create anything you want. You can be anything you want, but you are afraid to, Take a risk. Your parent says you are afraid to take a risk. It, you need to, you know, whatever dream that's on your heart, whatever it is that you really want to do, this is the time for you to do it. This is the time for you to write that book, child. The cards are telling you anything is possible. Oh my God, anything is possible. So, um, the reason why sometimes people are afraid. To, I, want to, I know you saw the cards, but I just want to make a point about this. You will learn from action, not inaction. Sometimes people are afraid to take a risk. It's because they try to think it through and they want to write this, you know, gorgeous business plan or this book proposal, right? This is the plan of what I plan to do. And I think that can really stop you from being everything, that, from executing your goals. Um, you know, don't talk about what you're going to do. Don't write a, you know, 20 page book proposal about the book that you plan to write, but to actually carry out your plans, to actually do it. When you do it, you learn. So, so for example, let's just say you want to write a book and the book you want to write is about butterflies and bees. Now, if there is a market for it in the, in the social structure, that book is going to take off because there are going to be so many factors that's going to push that book along. But let's just say people aren't interested in butterflies and bees. Well, that doesn't mean you shouldn't write that book because what you may learn from writing that book is your writing style. Do you like to write at night? Do you like to write in the morning? Um, are you a fiction writer? Do you you will learn so much about writing and publishing and about yourself and you will grow so much from writing that book that when you write your next book it may be something absolutely that the you know amazing so people are so afraid of making mistakes so there's people I'm sorry people are so afraid of making mistakes that it prevents them from actually doing anything <laughs> like you know somebody said well what about that um did you ever you know write make your album or did you ever write the song that you said you were going to write did you ever do blah 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 and you're saying well I, I do have my um I have the plan I have the proposal no you actually you need you're going to learn from doing it not writing about doing it not thinking about doing it you're going to have to actually follow through you're a person who the world is waiting for Yep, you're very productive, um, very creative, I'm sorry. You're very creative. Your actions today will determine your forever. You have two cards with the word action in it. So basically, the universe is telling you that the ball is in your court, that all you need to do is take action. Listen, your actions today will determine your forever. Isn't that amazing? The other card you have says... You will learn from action and not inaction. 
anything is possible. Take a risk. You know, I honestly feel like I don't know what to say more. The cards are just so bold with you. You fit in the social structure. You fit wherever you want to, whatever you want to do. The world is waiting for you. You have the skill set. You have the knowledge. You you're, you're ready. Get go. Get going. Turn off this video and get going because your stars are aligned in your favor. The wind is behind your back, child. Everything you want is waiting for you. Now I'm going to give you before you go and get started on that big dream, though. I want to give you your message from your skull. So now I'm going to give you the message from your skull being. And the message says, the social structure has moved from brick and mortar to the internet. Think about your digital image, your di digital portfolio, your digital platform. Humans have moved into the age of self-marketing. Each person should be taught in school how to build their personal online brand. They should learn appropriate netiquette and how to monetize their ideas. The old school structure of newspapers and magazines and brick and mortar shops are in the last phases of existence. Let me get this in focus. They're really heavy. Okay? You have the power to create your own social structure with the click of a button. Be careful because it is easy to build with consistent commitment, but it is difficult to rebuild if you lose the public trust. The online social structure can be fierce and dangerous if you don't know who you are offline. Wow. I thought that was a powerful message. So basically, whoever selected this hand, child, darling, you have everything. The world is waiting for you. The wind is behind your back. You do fit in. You're not some, whatever you want belongs to you, is waiting for you. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.